Welcome to Umschlalausi Nature Reserve. Yay! We made it. We made it. Um, the long trip is over. Had a nice trip, a little bit of rain, yeah. but otherwise it was really nice and cloudy. And now we are in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yeah. area, Rix. It's amazing. It's so, so stunning. It's a bit of bush and beach combined at the moment, as you can see behind us. It's a lagoon, but we just saw a sign that says, watch out for the hippos and the crocs. So That's why I look a bit <laughs> nervous So we're going to be this. swimming in this lagoon. And we've already ticked off a bird from your list. You got a new life. I've seen it before, but the white-eared barbet. White barbet. And we saw a very cool red daker or red yeah. forest daker which is very cool yeah yeah but so they're apparently quite common here yeah and they uh, are the impala of umslalazi <laughs> two of them were walking around in the campsite which is so cool we're not camping yet tonight we're staying just outside the nature reserve but um it's free to come in so you can come in um and just come and walk around there's lots of boardwalks and so on that you can do um, we are going to take a little drive and see what else we can find i'm trying to see what birds is in the tree uh, but in any case let's go and have a look Rick. yeah but uh, we are very, very excited to be here and to bring you guys along. Yeah, can't wait uh, for this. How is it in trippy? But uh, let's get back in the car, just away from the water. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a hollow chair. Blue game of trouble. Umsla is situated in the town of Mtanzini. It is known as the home of the palm nut vulture. We have made it to Nagoya Lodge. It's beautiful, yeah, really nice. The communal area is stunning. Um, yeah, excited to have a nice bath tonight when we get back. No, it's gonna be like a, it's been a long day, long mm -hmm. drive, but uh, very very happy to be here. And uh, we arrived in load shedding. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, you guys have had a lot of load shedding by this time. Apparently, it's uh, it's stage six, so. Uh, it went off at about two o'clock and then it came back at half past five. So 
Um, we've just come back from Kalazi and had a lovely drive. Yeah. Very, very nice. Um, they went, we heard a lot of birds, mm. but we didn't see too much. But I think it was because we were in the, the, in the heat of the day. Yeah. A lot of crabs, which is actually very yeah. cool. I don't know anything about crabs, but um, it's cool. I think we saw three different species of crabs, which is cool. No idea what they are called. Maybe somebody can comment down below what three species of crabs we saw. Um, and a new plover. That also the yeah, and, and, of and then the barbet and then another bird we saw kind of identify. Yes, so. we, haven't, uh, we are still very rookie birders, so <laughs> there are still lots of birds that we have to take a photo of and go back and go and find it. We are really very, very rookie when it comes to birding still. So that's how you learn. Yeah, that's how you learn. We will get better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so excited for that. Oh, and then just come back from there, but because it's load shedding, we're going to go get something to eat in town and then we're going to go back to Mkhalazi and then go and eat something, whatever we got there. On the beach. Or if hopefully, we, if, if, we, yeah, if, if we can, can. if we can. Um, otherwise, there's lots of beautiful picnic spots and beautiful benches. Otherwise, we'll just get a random bench and Definitely. have some supper and watch the sunset. And then come back, the gates close at Umkralazi at 7. So we'll back, be back around then and just enjoy the evening further. And be in bed quite early. Because yeah. it, it gets dark early. It does get dark early, but we were also up at 2 o'clock this morning. So um, you're very, very, very tired. Very tired. And then we'll have an early night because we have an early morning tomorrow. And then we go to Makuze. And pitch the tent in this humidity. <laughs> in this humidity. Goodness. <laughs> if you are, I must say it's quite humid compared to a dry old bloomy. Yeah. In Bloemfontein, you need polyphyla every half an hour. <laughs> this is this is proper. See, you don't even need to put on cream. Yeah, you <laughs> say it's, it's not even hot today. It's just very, very humid. humid. Mm. Yeah. But anyway, okay, let's have a relax, Rex, mm. and then we'll head out to get some tent. Some crab sticks. I've made friends with crabs now, oh, okay. so no crabs now. Mr. Crab. <laughs> We sat on a picnic bench close to the beach and enjoyed our pizza. While our faces were stuffed and our hands greasy, two palm nut vultures flew past. It's the pizza's fault that we don't have any footage of them. And this is exactly why you always have to make sure your windows are closed. Unlucky for these guys, ours were shut. Naughty buggers, but super entertaining and so sweet to watch them interact with one another.
we enjoyed some time next to the lagoon as the sun set, and then let these monkeys be and headed back to Nagoya Lodge. Good night. Thank you for watching our first day of our KwaZulu Natal trip. We had a very different trip, but absolutely loved every moment of it. We are already planning our next trip to KZN. We added three new birds at Umslalazi, but a total of 34 new bird species to our overall list, with some very specials in the mix in this KZN trip. We can't wait to share them all with you. If we misidentified any of the birds, let us know in the comments down below. Like and subscribe if you want to stay tuned for the rest of our trip. We will see you in the next vlog. All right. <laughs> Welcome. Stop it. Okay. Okay. See.